Generic greetings and welcome back to Airport CEO once again. In the previous episode, we doubled our medium size plane capacity. As you can see, this is a medium stand connected up to the tarmac, and hopefully, that'll make us even more money. Speaking of money, we've got 869,000 generic units of currency, and we are doing quite well. We also managed to get another. Hang on, are they going? I was going to say, what's going on there? I thought there was uh, some glitch with the sprite, but no, it's the uh, it's the baggage thing going. That's pretty cool. Anyway, um, as I was saying. The security, we added more. As you can see, we've doubled up security, which is fine. We added some more check-in and stuff, and generally did quite well. What I'm going to do, I did say I was going to uh, add more flights in here. I'm not. I'm going to wait until they are all ended and done, because, to be fair, you've only got a couple at the end there. Once it's up to here, we will then probably go ahead and remove all of these and then place them down, because, as you can see, we were on our way doing that anyway. So, yeah, that's what we'll do. So, uh, where were we at? We needed to change the flooring here, so let's just go over to the, I believe it's in structures, and then flooring, and then we needed a nice blue flooring around here, like so. And then we also needed to change it so this was like a, a nice light blue colour because that's just what we're going for. There we go. And that is... Well, there's that. Done. That was an easy task. Let's put in the flowers and other such things. Um, so we need to go to a large plant and we will put one in there and there. And basically at the ends like so. Shouldn't take too much time. Although we do need to have them around here. Actually, we don't need to have them, but we are going to have them around here. And let's just keep putting them in. I don't know if this actually does anything mechanically yet. But uh, it makes it look better, which is always an advantage. Uh, trash can, obviously same thing over here. One, two, three, four, five five, six, and we haven't actually got any trash cans around here, which is why we do tend to get a, well, the odd bit of rubbish now and again, so I'm going to put them, I'm going to put them like that, uh, we do want the same sort of thing this side, so what I'm going to do is have some, uh, gate seating around here, probably, and then, actually, do I want, do I, do I do, let me think about that one a second, um... No, I don't think we do want gate seating around there. What we do need, though, is probably some... It'll be an infrastructure, I'm guessing. No. Up the top. Airport screens. Yeah, we need some airport screens, which will be that way. How close have I put them? Right next to the door. Fine. And with a gap of one? Yeah. And then, yeah. That'll do us trash cans if we want to. And then small plants in between. Obviously a lot for these to build, but uh, they'll crack on with it. And while we're here, we might as well have some info desks. So, roughly in the middle. Um, actually, is there an exact middle? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, yeah, technically there is. That. That'll do it. And obviously trash cans as well. So, I believe it's that. But you can never quite tell. So, there's all I put in. Um, they say they can't get to that. I find that very hard to believe because it can come down along. It might be an issue with this not... Oh, that is marked, this stuff. That's fine, then. No, that is marked correctly. That's fine. Okay, so we'll max speed that out, and then we'll just get all this sorted. Um, more car parking is probably the way to go. I need to expand this side I think and then add some of that in and then the baggage system which I'm I'm sort of looking forward to and also dreading at the same time because it's uh, a bit glitchy or it can be um, so public road we've already got put in uh, so we need a bus stop and we've got them pretty much directly after that haven't we like three in a row do we need to give them a gap? Um, not this bit, no. Three. There's our bus stops. And this can come down. I said this can... No, it needs to select the asphalt one. Um, this can come down. And we are going to connect it up to the end of the road there. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is have the car drop-offs all the way along here and pretty much have them like back to back on each road but I'll wait for them to uh, to build all that we've got some options here employee can't reach a work position please make sure uh, there is a way to do it um don't know why because they were there 
Nope, the Syndicate reached a work position and they are blatantly moving, so we'll clear that. That's obviously not a problem. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Um, it looks like we've got... No, we've got enough security staff there. As you can see, though, we've got a couple of problems. They are sort of shuffling around from different areas. So security is... Look, we're doubling, doubling up security there, but then not having enough there. It's very strange. It's very strange. Anyway, we're going to go at a normal speed because we're getting uh, some weird performance problems. It's uh, glitching out a little bit. There's the road I'll put in, and that's fine. And... Oh, look at all the buses. That's a lot of buses, actually. We might go for another bus drop-off, then. If, if they're using this many uh, points to drop off, might as well. So bus stop will be... We'll just have a back-to-back -back like that, quite honestly. Um, like that. And then we'll have a road go straight along. Like that. But then we'll connect it up there. Yeah, that's about right. Obviously this is the cars as well, so we can have a car drop off there. And then from here on out, we'll probably use the car drop-offs. But that's, that's, you know, more than doubled up what we had. It's just uh, starting to get a bit dodgy with all of the stuff coming in and out. But, we do need to think about... Um, well, we need to move them at some point, but that's going to have to be once the flights have finished, which we're all... Well, we'll yeah, we're pretty much halfway through the flight, I would call it the flight day, because these ones we can't alter, that's why they're green, because they're like a confirmed flight now, and you can't, I think you can, I think you can cancel it, but you can see they're going green now to show that they are sort of locked in, when they are still this uh, greyish colour, you can shift them around. Um, so that's fine, they're all done, yeah, so it's running late, you want to delay an hour? Uh, I was going to say, uh, if you just leave it, generally it goes off, because it's only your, um, it's only like a sort of little alert to uh, see if we've got an issue there. Whoa, that, that is broken. Let's repair that runway because that is really broken. But let's go around and um, probably repair all of these. I don't know if you have to repair the fuel. There's all those repaired. Do you have to repair the fuel? No, but the tank is... No, the tank's not going down, I don't think. Let's request some extra fuel, see if it actually fills up. So we should get a fuel truck coming along. Nope, that's a bus. Oh, there's a fuel truck. It goes in the gate. Nah, it's filling it up. So maybe it is going down. I'm just going to request that. Get it sorted. You can see the contract's still there. Definitely, definitely fulfilled. Okay. Right, so. Looks like that's working... All of the boards are in. They are in the right direction. Information's there. Security's in there. Yeah, it looks like it's all working. Although, these, we haven't got a contract. So, let's sign one up there. I actually missed this on the last episode as well. But hey ho. Um, the bean. Like Sean Bean's calf. The stuff die halfway through the shift or something. Um, right, okay, so there's them open. That'll give us some more money. There's a bit of dirt around the place. But I think we have enough janitorial staff. Oh, I like that when you get the umbilical connect up and then all the people leave it. Oh my good grief, that is... Ah, right. That's why I was thinking, oh, it's very clean. Ah, maybe not. Maybe not. No, no, it's just it's just a little dirty, I think. Right, so let's, let's resolve it, that. Um, <laughs> let's go to staff and then see how many janitorial staff we... We do have some Janet stuff, surely. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's double that. Um, and go one, two, three, four, five, six. Job done. And that should hopefully clean the place up. You can click on any person and you can see, like, a big readout of, like, their boarding pass and stuff. So this is um, Julian Laurent. Uh, you can see that's their flight. So it's from Belfast. Oh, well, I'm on, actually. Um, to UFA. UFA? What's UFA? Um, I don't know. It shows you all like the date of birth, the weight, height, and all that, and then all of their needs as well. <coughs> Pretty cool. Anyway, um, I can't say United Emirates. No, it's not. 
United Foreign Airport. That's what it is, obviously. <laughs> anyway, so we need to get baggage. So let's crack on. Service road, concrete, goes along to there. And, I mean, we could always get another one of these stands put in, but I think we're just going to have this as baggage. Because if we have one of those stands, then, yeah, it's going to connect up and it's just not going to work. So, that's connected up. We need to go down to the baggage bay. Which will have to delete a bit of wall. So, we'll delete, say... That section of wall on the left. So this section here. Uh, actually, how big did it need to be? I'm guessing 10. I think it's 12 actually, but let's just... Yeah, 12. There we go. And then the baggage bay goes in there. Now, I expect to get this baggage bit wrong. <laughs> I just expect me I just ex expect to get this completely wrong. But we can only try. Um we do need a way into this because this is a secure location or rather it should be a secure location. We will now make it a secure location. Uh security is there. And then we need a way into it. So we will have a small door probably like this corner here. It doesn't really matter too much uh, where the door is. So structures and small door. Just like a small door back there where people go, what's that door there? And she says, like, staff only. What's that, what's that do? I don't know. So the baggage is now in. So what happens is we've got an area for the trucks to come in and then they'll load up on the uh, the baggage. So um, this is baggage going in. Well, this is, this is incoming flights. So flights will come in. The baggage will be brought onto this one and then taken to a carousel, which will be here where the people can pick their baggage up. The other ones, the baggage will come in, in here, from well, from these, this check-in, they'll go through a conveyor belt system, and then into it here. And this is where you then start scanning it, because you need to scan it for different things. So you need to scan it for, um, I think it's firearms, drugs, uh, things like that, and you also have a destroyer. Um, if you find any of those things, it'll go to that. And then once you've done that, it then finally goes over to this bit here, which will then be loaded onto the, uh, the, the sort of truck thing, and then taken to the flights and obviously you don't scan on the way in so let's see if we can get the baggage uh taken to a carousel around here first that's probably the easiest one to do so um but actually we, to be fair we have to we have to turn it all on anyway so we can only turn it on once it's on the go so baggage belt will be we'll say an overground belt and we'll have an overground belt in probably well, we'll go along here. Like this. Um, do we need it this big? Probably not, actually. It just needs to be long and goes, goes around and round and round. So, overground belt. There. And then we'll have it go from, say, there to there. And down. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, sorry, you have to rotate the belt. And, ooh, that's broken. We'll fix or edit. It, it can be done. It's not, it's, it's turning the wrong way for some reason. Start again. Baggage belt overground. So we'll go from say here along to there, then down to there, then to there, and then up. There we go. There's the belt. That's fine. Then it needs to go onto that. So what we'll do. We'll have an. We'll have one probably coming from. 
We'll do that. Which will then take the baggage onto there. We want an underground belt. Like that. This is all underground, but you can see now there's like a... It's changed, so it shows you in orange that it's underground, green, overground. But also, because it's connected to an overground, it's it's got this like little funnel thing, because it represents it, you know, changing from one to the other. So, uh, this here will come... I think I'll run it right along there. No. I'll probably run the belt from there, all the way along. To say here, then down to there. There you go. And the underground, uh, the overground one. Actually, we probably don't need to. That'll do it. Yeah, there you go. That should be, should be, the belt system for people collecting baggage. That's also very, very wrong. That bit there is wrong. Okay, hang on. What I'll do... I'll get rid of that because it looks terrible in every way. Let's get rid of that. And what I'll do is I'll just... I'll, go, I'll make it go... Actually, no, I don't even need to do that. I could just have it being dropped off there. I thought I was just... I thought, oh, I'll make it look fairly funky with it being there. No, nah, it, just, it just, just doesn't work. Okay. Underground belt. That. And then it'll drop off there. Right, so there's that. The in ones, though, uh, we can't have flights, which we do actually have flights scheduled. Yeah, these flights are every day. That's what it is. That's what it was, rather. Um, reschedule, we can't because it doesn't exist in the game. I'm going to cancel the flight, yes. Cancel the flight, yes. And then, do we have any other flights? No. So, stand 2 and small stand 1. So, can we del can we delete these? Just deactivate them all. Mm. Assigned flights. Yeah, I'm just going to have to wait for it to be finished. If I, shall I just cancel all the flights? I don't think I can cancel all of them, actually. Looks like I can, actually. Right. I technically should have no flights whatsoever. Well, that's annoying. Definitely says it's got no flight. Assigned flights. We have no assigned... Because oh, it's every day. Of course. Don't say it's going to roll over. Oh, my good grief. Should we just cancel the contracts? Because I, I need to get it done. Probably the best word. Probably, well, I don't know if you can cancel a contract. Accepted. They're completed. Cancel contract. Oh, that's the wrong one. By airlines. Fill it by airlines, yet it's showing me the the contract for the, the, the cafe. Oh, there we go, because I need to unpause it. Cancel a contract, yes. Cancel a contract, yeah, obviously this is going to annoy them somewhat, but, uh, there you go. Which ones? See, I assume these ones... I don't know why they've got a green tick and those ones haven't. So it's Maple and CLM. Anything maple and CLM were cancelling. I'm pressing cancel on that and it's just... I'm guessing I can't because it's got the flights on here. Cancel. Cancel the active contract? Yes. Just doesn't work. Just, no, nah, no. Nah. <laughs> right, fine. I guess that's that's a permanent feature now of the airport. <laughs> and even if we deactivate this, it's not going to work, is it? And I bet I can delete that one. 
Yeah. So I can delete that one, the one that we move forward. Hmm. Okay. I guess this here is not getting moved. I mean, I could spend ages trying to fix it, but quite honestly, I don't care enough about it. <laughs> so I'm just going to put these back in, these check-in desks, and we'll just have to deal with it. Um, maybe in the future we'll go ahead and change it up, but for the time being now. Um, and now that we ain't got any flights, we should probably, probably get some. So, change that to airlines again, unpause it, and then it'll take a little time to, yeah, do that. Five medium, six medium, daily medium, daily medium, six light, go for the light ones. Six light, four medium, 11 medium, that's far too much, 15 medium. Six light, four medium. Right, let's try that for now. So, because of the time... Oh, I'll have to pause it. Because of the time, because you can only schedule them within three hours. We'll have to... Uh, uh, within three hours of the current time. You can't just, like, quickly... Right, land! What? What? <laughs> um, you have to... Uh, do what you can, I guess. Because we can't just say, right, you, you land. When do you land? In an hour. So go on then, land. <laughs> yeah, they don't like that. These are all Saturday flights, I've just realised. Um, any big ones? No, they're all small, them ones. What I'll do on the Sunday, I'll just, I'll just schedule them all in. There might be a way of auto doing this, but um, I haven't seen it. There we go. And then we've got this stripe as well. Go back to... Ooh, good grief. Any... Any mediums? Does it tell us where it is? Well, that'll be one because of this, the amount of passengers. That's probably the best way to do it. That'll be another one. Yeah. So even though it's a... I don't know where you would class it as a small airport, actually. I mean, we've got two medium stands with a couple of jets on and such. So it's not too bad. We've got more space there, but that's that's booking a day in advance, so there's no real problem there. Okay, so we'll crack on, get this in, and then we need to get the baggage sorted. So the baggage will come along... I'll just build the queue to there. Build the queue to there. So the baggage will come along here. Um, and the back of here. So I'll have to have... Ideally want underground belts right at the end of the, each one of these. But because of the direction, you have to sort of build it back over. So, ah, damn it, that's also wrong. Hang on. <laughs> See, I'm used to, like, Prison Architect and other such games where it automatically rotates the door around. So... There we go. That's now put. That's now incorrectly. I hope. So, just checking the bins have parity where which they do. Right. So we want the baggage scanner, baggage cargo where we've got belts. So it's underground belt, and it's going to come in here, and. I oh, know because it's going. It's going to go in and out. Oh, actually, this is quite easy then, or at least I used to say that. The question is, can you put it under a wall? Yes, you can. Okay. So we'll just do that then. One. There you go. And I'm hoping that's working. We'll find out, won't we? So, that's all of the check-in things done. While I'm here, I want to bulldoze... Ah. Can it see it? Yes, it can. You just have to do the underground section. That's fine. Right. So, the workforce is going to build all of that. 
Looks like the roads are now getting a lot of use, but that's not working. Ah! Why is that not working? It says it's got no connection to the road. The fact that it's going there determines that that was a lie. I don't know why that's doing that. Because the one here is quite clearly working. Um... Stuff's coming along, but look, there's there's the bus. It pulls in. People get on and off. I have no idea why that's shouting at me, especially considering that this one is the exact same thing and it is working. I don't know, nor at the moment do I care. Right. So, I'm going to finish off building this conveyor system, or one would hope, baggage scanners. So, you have to have multiple scanners. No, I don't want to delay the flight. Um, it's going to come in here, and then we need to scan it several times. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to rotate it like... S ah, that's a problem. Because of the way it works, um, it... Uh, you can see it goes into the left, and then it wants to go up for the destruction bit, like for the red bit. You can see there's a bit in green, that's where the normal baggage will flow. The red bit is what will happen if the baggage is classed as dangerous. So, how is one going to fix that? Because I can't really... I could do that. Yeah, I could do that. Okay, one. Um, two. Three. Let's put three in for now because I think you have to select different things. So I'll put all three in and then we'll see what it does. And then it'll basically come around and then loop into this. Then I truly hope that works. And why are they taking ages to build it? Oh, because we need to drop it off. In terms of money, as you can see, it's still hovering around the uh, 800,000 marks. So that's fine. So when we go under the sort of half a mil that we really need to worry. You know, obviously, flights are just still coming, getting refueled. It's it's all functioning. So that one, let's pause it. Um, why can't we change that? The question is, have I got the wrong? Have I got the wrong one? Procurement. Conveyor belt tilt tray. Ah, specific baggage scanner. That's the one. That's what it was. Right, max it out. Get them sorted. And delete those. And then we'll scan for specific baggage. Yeah. I thought there was something iffy there. So only five hours for that to get unlocked. And then we'll be able to uh, build the rest. It looks like we're still getting... Uh, the generic aviation come in. That's quite good. Obviously, a lot of these have been taken over by the commercial flights. But it looks like now that um, now that we've sort of altered this here, we've got some space, you see. And uh, now and again, we're getting these. Although, did I leave them just on general? Yeah, actually, that's why. I, I left them on uh, just gen general aviation. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I do like the, you know where the planes are landing. You do get the, uh, the sort of the skid marks where the the planes sort of touch down. You can hear like the wheels like sort of screech a little bit as they get up to speed. We'll repair that. Costs a little bit of money, but obviously you don't want to uh, uh, run where it's breaking. Look at all the money as well. How much is the dirt gone as well? Uh, it is going. Wouldn't say it's gone, but it's going. Obviously they're going to go past this baggage scanner and go. Oh look, a nice baggage scanner. Why is it not working? Why is the baggage scanner not working? Well, that's because we haven't implemented the whole thing yet. And all the baggage system. Once you've got it sorted, you need to then turn it on as well. Um, you go over to the operations and you can turn on uh, the baggage handling system. Which... Hmm. <laughs> yes, well, this works or not, well, we'll see, won't we? Almost finished, I think, the, the unlocks there. Procurement and... Yeah, almost done. And I think... Is there anything else we need? 
Uh, probably, I haven't checked emails. Oh god, we need the spam filter. Yeah, we'll probably get the spam filter at some point. <laughs> right, so we should now have... Yeah. Ver a different variation of the baggage scanner. There you go. And... Uh, typical. I can't select the right ones I need, look. Because it's there. Uh, that's explosives. I think it says... That one there, that's explosives. But there's four different types. No, there's five different types. And that's still going as explosives. So how am I, how am I supposed to select that? <laughs> uh oh. I think we have a problem. Right, I'm gonna leave it there because I I can't select all of the specific baggage scanners. Essentially. What happens is you come in, you get specific scans for explosives, uh, organic, and then if it's a problem, you send it off to the destroyer, and then otherwise it goes on there. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to see if I can fix that, because otherwise I can't put a specific baggage scanning system in, and we'll just have to use the general one. Uh, next episode, go ahead and see if the baggage thing works. I'm a bit concerned about that. That it says off, and then it doesn't, you see it doesn't connect up, but... Uh, uh, I'll have a play around for the next episode and we'll see how it goes. As always, hope you've enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Comments in the comments and generic partings.